All right, hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Princess Connect Redive video. And we finally have the brand new Halloween Masaki update. Uh, so I will be going over all of the new stuff that is coming in this update as it just came out today, about a few hours ago. Uh, it's currently about three hours or so since the reset has happened. Um, I will be doing a Should You Summon Guide for Halloween Masaki later today. Um, one, probably an hour or so after the banner releases, I'll have that video coming out. Uh, and yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into the notices and see what's going on with the update announcement here and all the new stuff that is coming in this update. Now, there's a lot of cool stuff coming. Uh, of course, we have Area 17 probably being the biggest expansion uh, to the game. We have Luna Tower coming as well, which is going to be coming tomorrow. Uh, so tomorrow will be Luna Tower. Today is just going to be the level cap increase from 110 to 112. Uh, we're going to be getting the new equipments. 11.4 is going to be added. Main quest area 17, and then the story extra stuff. So in total, including all of the area modes that you can go through, the normal mode as well as the hard mode, uh, the 17-3, the normal mode, all the way up to 14. So another set of normal stages to go through. In total, we're here looking about around a thousand jewels if you include missions, uh, if you include clearing every stage at a three-star level. That includes the hard mode as well. So in, in total, you're looking at about 1,000 to 1,200 jewels uh, from clearing all of these stages with the missions included. So that is very, very nice. Um, a lot of jewels are going to be on the table for you guys to go ahead and start collecting to be saving for the next up and coming banners that you want to save for. If you want to summon for Holly Misaki, we'll go ahead and do that today. So obviously right now, today is currently the last day of the Halloween Shinobu banner. Uh, so it is currently like the last call if you do not have Halloween Shinobi yet and you really, really want her. Uh, you have from now until about 7 o'clock Eastern Time Zone uh, in order for you to summon and try to get the Halloween Shinobu. I think she is a great PvP character. She honestly, you know, I, I feel like she really performs really, really well in dungeon mode. Um, what I mean by dungeon mode is by the stages 1 through 5, not the stages... Uh, the final stage, okay? So in the Tideborn Tower stage, I'm talking about floors one through four uh, are going to be the stages where Howling Shinobu is going to excel in. Uh, you're going to be fighting against teams that you see in usually in PvP. Uh, so Howling Shinobu is actually going to be super, super good uh, for the first floor floors. After that, I mean, floor five, you do not really want to be using Halloween Shinobu. Um, you could, I guess, but floor is one through four. She absolutely dominates. Uh, so she's honestly pretty solid for dungeon in terms of there. Uh, for Battle Arena and Princess Arena, we all know how good Halloween Shinobu is there. She's just complete meta, probably the best PvP character in the entire game at the current moment. And she will be for quite some time. So as I said, Halloween Shinobu is going to be disappearing later in the day. And she's going to be replaced with Halloween Masaki. Um, Halloween Shinobu is definitely a way better character than Halloween Misaki is. It's almost like twice as good, three times as good than Halloween Misaki. Halloween Misaki is no slouch. She's not like trash or anything, but she's just not up to par uh, compared to Shinobu or compared to Christina, who's coming right after her. But we'll talk about more about if you should summon for Halloween Misaki when she releases here in a few hours from now. Once again, we'll head back into the update announcement and read some things here. Uh, so we should be expecting to be get getting our clan battle rewards here fairly shortly. I would say expect it sometime between the Halloween Masaki banner, which releases in about seven hours from now. Between that banner and the Christina banner, we should be getting the rewards. Um, we're also going to be having a clan battle just a little bit before the Christina banner actually releases. I think it's literally like the day before Christina releases or like the same day, but before her banner comes out. So we should be expecting the clan battle rewards here within about a week or so, uh, give or take, because the banner should be going for quite some time. So here is the fan subbing upcoming pr uh, banner list right here. And as you can see, Halloween Misaki is going to be going for about 13 days. So about two weeks uh, is how long Halloween Misaki is going to be going for. And then on the 25th of October, we're going to be seeing the release of the limited first pre-festival character, Christina. Super exciting. Uh, this this Halloween Shinoma banner, I felt like has like literally went forever. I mean, this banner lasted for almost over 18 days. I mean, I feel like that's, in my opinion, that's like way too long. Uh, I think two weeks is a very nice medium for a amount of a banner length. Uh, and considering this banner is only about, it's under two weeks, it's 13 days uh, for the Holly Masaki banner. Uh, that is going to be super, super hype. So go ahead and mark your calendar down now, because in about two weeks from now, literally exactly about two weeks, we're going to be seeing the release of the first God tier unit, Christina. Super exciting. Uh, Masaki is going to be showing up as well. Uh, so that pretty much covers everything that's going on inside of the update. Uh, once again, it's just a small little update here. Uh, small level cap increase. I'm already at level 111, literally just from collecting like a mission. So it shouldn't be hard for most people to hit the level 112 cap before the clan battle comes out. Uh, clan battle shouldn't be here for 
I don't know what, five, seven, eight days from now. Um, so Clan Battle, we still have quite some time until that actually shows up. So people that have been at the level 110 cap, uh, or people that were even at like level 108 before this update came out, you should easily be able to get about level 111, level 112 if you play and use your stamina every single day and you collect from the guild house, of course. So I like how the level cap has kind of decreased drastically because uh, before it would be a very, very big rush because they'd have the new update come out and then like three days later would be clan battle or two days later and you'd have to fill a gap of like five, eight levels and it was really, really hard. Uh, and a lot of people couldn't actually hit the level cap until like the final day of the clan battle. Uh, so I'm glad that they haven't decreased this. Once again, I will be making a guide for the brand new Area 17. I will be doing 1714, and I also will be doing the stages 17-3 as well. Um, usually the, the dash three stages are going to be your most important and most difficult stages, uh, just because they usually put the highest end characters on there. And it, of course, is the super high level that you're going to have to be going through. I should be having the guide for the 17-3 out either tomorrow. I think I'll also do that. Uh, we're also going to be getting the extra 40 floors of Luna Tower tomorrow as well. So we have 40 new floors. I should be making a guide on the floor 100, and then I'll do floor 110. And then, of course, I will do the EX floors as well on top of that. So that pretty much covers everything that's going on. A lot of content finally is coming to the game. I'm super excited uh, because for the past about week, two weeks, it's been completely dry since... <laughs> I know two-star character isn't the biggest character that comes out. It's been really, really dry, so I'm really glad uh, Halloween Shinobu is getting kicked out. We're getting Halloween Masaki, a new character. This update is really, 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 really big. I'm glad that they finally have been giving us new content. It's been quite some time. It's been about a week or so of just pure dryness and absolutely nothing to do. Uh, so I'm glad there's finally stuff to make some videos on. New, new Luna Tower floors is always super nice. Very excited. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace out, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye-bye.